What are the secrets Anima and Afterlife could be doing that are not legal? I'll show you 5 different secrets they use to hook you. The controversial part comes together with AI, but to understand this, we need to know they produce melodic techno. This genre consists of a minimalistic sound design with very few elements that can add emotion and blossom feelings. So what makes the music Anima and Afterlife play so interesting that you can apply to your music? The first thing could be their show with the incredible visuals. Their visuals are catchy and captivating to the audience and go together with the music. Anima and Afterlife provide a full immersive experience that keep us engaged and engaged. But what about the music? So simple melodic techno has these elements. A kick, a clap, usually some cymbals, but for the second part, so the next thing could be a bass. And usually the bass is the most important, so we don't want to be monotone. So the first thing they do is to keep it catchy. If we go to the bass, you can see that it's our rolling bass line, which is good, but sometimes we want more interesting stuff. There are a couple of things we could do. If we want to add extra movement, maybe instead of not leaving a space or gaps between the notes, we can short a little bit the notes. This will add extra movement and groove. But another trick we could do is to delete all of this and start playing with triple notes. Let's try with no gaps. I think there is the sweet spot. Another thing we could do is to combine this. So now our bass line is way more interesting. If you produce melodic techno or similar genres, you can get Tech Love. This is our new multi-genre free sample pack. Find the link in the description. Established producers usually have their signature sound. Anima has his plucky sound, so this is how we can steal it and approach in different ways. The first thing you need is to open Serum and to write a MIDI. Then we go to Serum and we'll open the S, so and tree. On the oscillator B, we'll open MB triangle, four voices of unison and let's detune. Here FM from B. Here we can turn down one octave and on the modulation here, maybe change the position. We can turn on the filter, select the oscillators and the noise, turn down the cutoff and change the filter. Then we can go to the envelope, turn all the way down the sustain and the decay around 500 ms. More release and send this to the cutoff. We can turn on the noise, select the right white. And we can also send the velocity. Now with the velocity we can play a little bit. Then we can go to the effects section, add some distortion, some delay, and some reverb. We can cut some of the lows. And maybe even some compression. And we have this. But melodic techno is nothing without the melodic part, so sometimes they add an ARP to increase the feelings of the track. In this case, I'll copy the whole drop. I was saying about the cymbals and shakers on the second part, so let's try to find one on House of Tech. This one could go. So now I'll create an ARP and we're going to place the ARP close to the base. I'll tell you why in a moment. So let's go now to Serum. We'll open the House of Tech sample pack, maybe the blacks. Or maybe this lead, Duffy. 
So the trick here is go into the base pattern. I'll copy this. Now we can go to the ARP. So now we are going to create an ARP following the rhythm of the baseline. This will help us to have a cohesive track, but also following the rhythm. And here we can randomly start moving notes between the scale. We can add also some sidechain. I'm maybe playing a little bit with more octaves with this note. Let's try with more sound. For example, the Black Force. Or maybe Rainy. As you can see, all of the sounds of this project are from House of Tech or multi generated sample pack for techno, melodic techno, tech house, and similar genres. It includes 600 sounds, so you can get it in the link in the description. Then we can add what could be a game changing for the track. We want to share a story to express context and more emotion. So, what a better way to do it with vocals? In melodic techno, they use AI to create vocals. Okay, to do this, we are going to use two tools ChatGPT to ask for the text and lyrics, and PlayHT for the text to speech tool. So, I just asked ChatGPT for ideas for melodic techno vocals in the topic of humanity and AI and this was kind of creepy so I'll choose this one and I will paste it to some of the voices here the idea is to try many voices as you can see here you have hundreds of them and to find the one you want okay now that we have all the vocals we can download them let's hear an example in ones and zeros find our place so we can click this icon here to download and then we can export it to the project so we have our vocal here lost in circuits found in soul Humanity's tail, AI's role, Digit's dream of heart's embrace. We can send all of them to the same channel. Here, going to basically compress Digit's dream of heart's embrace. The next thing will be to place it on the tempo. Lost in circuits, found. Lost in circuits, found in soul. Humanity's tail, AI's role, Digit's dream of heart's embrace. In ones and zeros, find our place. If you want to go more in depth about how to make techno AI vocals, check this video where I show you three different techniques on how to make them from scratch and making interesting effects to sound unique. But here's when the problems come. There's a whole discussion about AI vocals. We've seen many case studies where a producer released a song using vocals from another artist. We've seen it with the viral The Weeknd and Drake song. So who owns the rights? We've also seen it with David Guetta using Eminem's voice in his shows. This is the future rave sound. I'm getting lost in an underground. This is the future rave sound. I'm getting lost in an underground. So is this legal? Are Anima and Afterlife doing something like this? Well, as I showed you earlier, it's easy to create this kind of vocals and I don't think they're using famous artists. But it's for sure something that opens the discussion. What are the limits of AI? How do you control this? Who owns the rights? Where is this going? Why do I have gloves and glasses? Lots of questions with no answers. Without the next step, you could be missing something. We said melodic techno has very few sounds but also motion. Usually we want to add tension so there's something a lot of producers do to hook you. So we already have this project. Let's hear the last few bars. Digit's dream of heart's embrace. In ones and zeros, find our place. Okay, so there's something that we could do here to add more tension. I think we could move this there and maybe the vocals to here. So let's hear how it sounds with this extra gap that adds a lot of tension. Lost in circuits, found in soul. Humanity's tail, AI's role. Digit's dream of heart's embrace. In ones and zeros, find our place.
here we have some of the techniques they use to make their tracks catchy but how do they sound so good how do they make their melodies and process sounds i made a full in-depth one hour video making melodic tango track from start to finish like anima so click here to watch it and subscribe so you don't miss any video i'll leave also the techno ai vocal so you can check that out to make catchy and unique vocal that adds emotion to your songs my name is this guy and i see you there bye